besties and welcome back to day 26 on EB Isle. I have no plans for today, but I have just a general good feeling about it. Um, hopefully my voice doesn't sound too weird and like nasally today. I'm playing pretty early in the morning because I called into work today not feeling well. So I'm a little under the weather, but at the same time really excited because I feel like under the weather plus Animal Crossing equals the coziest days ever. I'm so excited to do my dailies today and just kind of like relax and recharge and yeah, just heal. Um, we love to see it. Penelope, how are you? I was like way into this walk, but then I started to get boring. Then I found you and it's fab again. You know, she's really growing on me. Um, yesterday when I was like playing offline, I did go to a Gullivar's Island and I ended up bringing back a gyroid with me. So I just planted it right here. And I love to see that our crops have actually grown in, which is so fun. I watered them yesterday and we've got several doubles. So that's pretty exciting. We love to see it. Um, I think I am going to just place them over here. Like we talked about, we were going to do. Also, we have so many um, little gifts that we got in the mail today, which I think is so fun. I think I'm gonna sell the extra, so I'm just gonna grab one of these. That way I don't have like two sitting in a pile because it's not like they look any different. So we're just gonna drop them there. That is going to be our like wares that we're selling. I really love the way that this little farm turned out. I'm really excited about it and I'm actually very excited to like continue it down here in this area, which is what I was sort of kind of thinking about doing today, but we'll have to just kind of like see how the day goes. I really truly don't know what I'm doing right now. I guess we go check out Nook's Cranny and see what they're selling today. All right, we have a couple of cute things in Nook's Cranny today. I like the little fish in the carton. Also the movie projector is a pretty good item. Um, yeah, no, those are both pretty cute. So we are going to be purchasing those. We have that black dresser back there as well. That could be kind of cute, especially if we changed the color of it. Let's see. I'm not a big fan of this heart shaped table thing. Japanese dresser. Actually, that's pretty cute. I don't think I've ever really seen that before. We're going to get it because we definitely need more like just household items like that. I don't think I'm going to get the basketball, but I'm kind of curious how much it costs. 11,000? Okay, we're going to get it. I thought it would be like 50,000 plus. So yeah, I feel like that would be pretty cute, especially next to someone's home. Oh, and we better talk to Peck since he's here. A cute vanity? Well, the early bird catches the worm and I'm all about my early workouts crunch. What does he need a vanity for? Like, I'm not judging you whatsoever, sir. Like, honestly, I would probably like you more if you were like doing your makeup before your workout. Um, okay, let's see what we've got going on in here. Um, another day of no cute wallpaper or flooring. I feel like the pink painted wall is not bad, but to be honest, I'm not like the biggest pink person. Like I like accents of pink with green. Actually, you know what? Let's get it. Let's get it. Cause I feel like doing it with like other, like, I don't know. I don't know. I think it could be cute and we have like no options right now. So we're just gonna do it. All right, not too bad for Nooks today. So next up, I bet we go into resident services. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a little bit creepy, but also really cute. And also there's, when they sing together, they're so loud. Oh my goodness. Of course you dreamed you're a rock star cat. You are a rock star queen. And we have LaBelle or Label in our plaza today. We haven't had her at all. She wants us to make a formal outfit. I gotta get away from the singers really quick and see what she's given us. Okay, that doesn't feel very formal to me, but okay. Um, I think we're just gonna run over to Nook's Cranny and see, not to Nook's Cranny, oh my goodness, to Able Sisters and see what other options we have. I actually do really like this knit like orange colored tank top though. I feel like it's very fall. Also, we have a witch's hat for sale today. That's pretty exciting. There's gotta be some like nice dress pants in here that would be considered formal. Oh yeah, some slacks, okay. Just a little, just a little business cash moment. This looks like golf course ready. Some, I kinda wanna do black, but I feel like it just doesn't suit that. Oh, we could do a retro dress too. Or do we have to use the 
thing that she gave us. I feel like we should. Maybe we do white. Very nice, very nice. Is there a hat that is just like screaming formal? Not really. The skateboarding helmet? I cannot. Okay, maybe the cool shades. Hilarious. Um, ooh, and we gotta have some business shoes. I feel like the brown is a little bit better. This is really, really something. Um, okay. I do wish we had like a hat of some sort. What do I what do I if I rock just like a safety helmet? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I do kind of want the witch's hat though. I didn't realize that it came in different colors, but I'm so ready for like I'm just so ready for cute fall things that I want it, but we're not gonna wear it when we talk to her. <laughs> this is really something. Oh my God. I feel like I turned myself into a Karen. This is really bad. Okay, we're gonna take off my mage's hat now. <laughs> the <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I gotta say the band-aid on my cheek really sells it. Like it really ties the whole look together. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. Okay, time to go see what she thinks of our outfit. I see you've changed clothes. Can I take a look at the outfit you came up with? Of course. That's it exactly. Your combination of clothing radiates that perfect formal look. There's just so much I can learn from your sense of style. I wanna give you something to show you how much I appreciate your help. Have you heard of Taylor's tickets? You can take Taylor's. Oh, I totally forgot that she did this. I totally forgot about that. Oh my. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is really something. This is really something. Okay, I gotta I gotta change because I literally can't take myself seriously right now. Um and the, the sunglasses, they're really oh geez, oh geez. Sunglasses are really doing something for me here. Okay. I guess we're running around in our business shoes today, which is fine. All right, let's check out Rested Services. All right, everybody's hard at work in here. We've got some torn pants in the recycling bin today. Very cool, very cool. I got so many things from Nook Shopping yesterday, but I did manage to do so much fishing and sea creature diving. And check this out, check this out. I'm kind of a big deal. We're gonna be making a loan payment this morning because one of my goals for 30 days was to pay off my house one more time, and would you look at that? We managed to do it. Never mind the fact that we have almost no money now. Um, <laughs> that's fine. That is absolutely fine. All right, we are just gonna go ahead and sign up for the next expansion so that we have something to continue working towards. The next one is like 500,000 bells though, and I feel like it's gonna take so much Time. I want to say it was like about a week for the 300,000 bells, so I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit dramatic. It won't be too bad. I feel like the ones that are like a million, that's a lot. Before we leave, I do want to check out Nook Shopping and see if there's anything we might want to buy here. Ooh, we have books again. I feel like it might be worth it actually to just go ahead and buy more books. Let me see. I was also thinking about getting us some more furniture to decorate with. Um, oops, I better take off the DIYs. I feel like that just makes it very confusing. Yeah, I'll get another candle. We've got plenty of cardboard boxes, like kind of a nauseating amount. Maybe another thing of flowers, because I think those are very cute to decorate with. I want to get more plants. Oh, I just remembered, like, since we already bought the books, we can get them every time now. So that's not really a big deal. That doesn't, that makes it less special, I think. I kind of want another hand cart, and I'm sort of thinking about just, like, going over to Harv's Island and changing the color of it. I feel like that would be kind of cool. I want to also get a lantern and change the color of the lantern. Because I don't really like the gold, but I love the green and the black. I'm just a really big fan of like dark colors, I think. Maybe we get another Chivalera as well. Just because I think it is such a nice like little item to decorate with. Oh, and I miscounted. All right, that's fine though. Okay, so what I'm thinking for today is to decorate that area 
in front of the farmer's area and I was also thinking that it might be kind of fun to kind of decorate this area here as well like next to this pathing and then like leading over here towards the uh, museum because I feel like it just looks a little bit like barren and just kind of like boring right now so I do kind of want to do something to like make that a little bit cuter I just don't really know what right now like I haven't really given it much thought so I don't know maybe I'll save that for tomorrow and we'll just focus on this area in the front here because I do feel like I have like a semi-decent vision for that part so yeah we'll see We'll see, I guess we do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and redeem whatever nook miles we've gotten so far today. And then, I don't know. I feel like I'm all over the place today on day 26. Like I'm not really sure what I wanna do. I don't feel like doing my dailies yet. I do need to say hello to all the villagers, but we'll probably end up seeing them anyway. So I guess we'll just get out the Island Designer app and start doing some work here. I was thinking about downloading some more custom designs today, but I wanted to like, yeah, we really don't have like a whole lot of room, so I'll have to pay for the expansion, which is totally fine because I do really want to have more options. One of the things that I think would be very cute though is like using the standees, but I think you do have to pay for like the expansions to even be able to get those. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I think that I actually do want this to be like a little lake over here because this is the river mouth, so I think... We're gonna create like a little water feature here and just get rid of this part. Cause otherwise the river mouth is not really going to have like a source, you know? And I don't like how that looks. So we gotta do something with that. I've honestly been surprised like how the areas have come together despite having very few items. And I don't know, I'm really liking the island so far. I think I'm probably going to try to decorate the whole island with this like kind of minimal style because I think it just feels very like quintessential Animal Crossing to me. And it also is very easy to like do dailies on this island and actually like use the island for gameplay because things don't really get in the way too bad. Like it's a very easy to navigate island and I really enjoy that. I've honestly never really played the game, like actually played the game very much on my other Animal Crossing islands because I end up decorating so much. But what I'm realizing is that my normal style of decorating makes it really hard to actually play the game because you're just like constantly having to navigate around a million different items and it makes it so annoying that like I don't even really like to play that way anymore. But since trying this other style, like I'm actually really, in really enjoying doing dailies again. And I guess just like remembering aspects of gameplay that I had completely forgotten about before just because it's been so long since I've experienced it. So yeah. I don't know. I'm just, just rambling a little bit while we terraform here, but how many of you guys are actually playing the game still and how many of you are just playing to decorate? I'm kind of curious. I feel like the Animal Crossing community is kind of divided in that way, but I could be wrong. That's just my, just my impression. Okay, I kind of wanted to make a little awkward shape here just to have enough space for both water terraforming and a tree. So that was what I was trying to do. I sort of did the exact same thing on the other side, um, but I don't think it'll be too repetitive. I think it'll be okay. Okay, and then we are going to create a little waterfall here. And I think I may make it go to the side as well. Yeah, and then we've got plenty of room to put trees up here. And I think I will just like widen this a bit, which would be kind of cute. And then I think I want to put like one single little tile in the middle because I think that looks pretty cute. Maybe we'll do it like right here. Do I have any flowers or anything like that? I did go to the Gullivar's Island and I ended up getting some vines and glowing moss, which was pretty fun. Um, so that's where those came from. I was hoping I would get like a glowing moss DIY while I was visiting, but we ended up getting the cave, which was also a pretty good DIY recipe. So I'm not, I'm not mad at it, but 
It wasn't what I was hoping to get. If we got the glowing moss like stickers, I would have literally screamed. I'd be so excited because there's so much that you can do with those, especially as we continue decorating my house. So I would have been very excited for that, but that is okay. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I also can't wait to get the decoy duck DIY. I'm gonna be unstoppable when that happens. Okay, so I think we're good there. Maybe I will just connect this little bit over to the main section of water. We'll see. See how it wants to go here. Okay. So maybe I will try to like, oh geez. I was thinking maybe I like just make this small. That's kind of fun and cute. Just like a little something, a little something to make the space look a little bit more natural. And then I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and eat the tomato cause I'm gonna break up this rock. You know what, actually no, because I actually need the item. So I'm just gonna pick up the tree. That way it clears that. And then I'm actually going to hit the rock because I'm remembering that I haven't grinded for materials quite as often as I should be. So I'm starting to actually run out of things again. What I've been doing is grinding for money instead, which is necessary and totally fine, but like definitely need to get back on my material grind. I'm also noticing quite a lot of lag with these Joy-Cons when I'm playing in docked mode, which is starting to like actually really drive me insane. Um, I'm not sure that there's anything I can do about that though, because I don't notice it at all when I'm playing in handheld mode. All right. Let's see what we got. I never opened any of my presents from earlier. Need to do that. Oh, we got a beach towel. Fun. Very fun. <laughs> All right, now that we have sufficiently farmed this rock, I don't feel so bad just breaking it open. Okay, and then in terms of the farm, I'm gonna do the exact same sort of pattern that we did before. I think I'm just going to like put it over top of this other path because it'll save me some time like having to delete things. And I also think we're gonna make them the same size. I was thinking to use some of the flowers that I have around the island to make some fake crops until we're actually able to get some real ones. I was thinking also, I've been doing a lot of thinking, can you tell? I was thinking that we could also go over to Harv's Island today, especially because it's earlier in the day today, and try to get enough money to pay for Leaf to be over there because we'll have the opportunity to get a lot more bushes and flowers and cute little farming items if we utilize him. So. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, okay, so then I was wondering, oh, hi chief, what's going on? You've ever been asked something but you don't have an answer? I hate when that happens. Here's what I do. I just smirk real sarcastic like and wait until things get awkward and they wander off. Smart, right? Sometimes all you need to do is sheepishness and everything will work itself out. The reactions can get you out of jams. Oh my goodness, chief. That was really something, sir. Okay, so I'm thinking what if we do one like sort of in the center right here? Maybe I'll move it a little bit closer because I like the idea of it being sort of like offset a little bit so it's not too symmetrical. And I can't even remember how many crops we have in the game right now, but we'll make it work. We'll, we'll make it cohesive in some way. And then I can do another one here. Let's see if the spacing works out. Ooh, yay, it actually kind of works out perfectly. And then I am gonna go through and delete that light dirt path in a second, but I figured it would just be easier to do this first. Okay, I feel like that actually works out really well. Sweet, and then does this one too far away? No. My goodness, they are just singing up a storm today. You guys have are just like full of, full of it. Oh shoot, I'm sorry, always a pleasure to see you. Yep, you too, except for when you're standing like kind of exactly where I need to be. This island isn't gonna decorate itself, chief. Okay, I am just gonna give him a gentle nudge 
they always come back. They're literal boomerangs, I swear. Okay, so that's what we're working with in terms of this area. I instantly feel like even without any decor items that it kind of like filled up the space really perfectly actually. Okay, so then I'm just gonna shake this tree. I do see that little money pile back there, but I totally don't want a tree there. Like, I guess I could just let a tree grow and then <laughs> dig it up later. <laughs> I suppose it's worth it. So I have been taking you guys up on your tip of planting 10,000 bells and then hopefully getting more money. Oh my God, I totally fat fingered that. I did not mean to do that. I was about to put the 10,000 bells in there. <laughs> I seriously, can you tell I have no brain cells today? Like, <laughs> okay, tomorrow. I did do it with yesterday's money tree, but I think I might've cut that footage out. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that I have been listening. I have been listening to you all. Um, okay. So I'm thinking what I want to do is maybe get some tree saplings because I do want to start incorporating some stunted trees. So maybe we'll go and grab a couple of saplings and then just use those so that we have some varying heights. Okie doke. So I think we are pretty much all done terraforming, which is good. So I'm just going to take the Island Designer app off. My goodness, they're singing so much today. This is crazy. This is really a lot. Okay, so I think that I'm going to want a tree to go like here-ish but I feel like that's gonna be a little bit too close. So maybe we'll put it here, let it grow in, and then we can wait. So maybe we'll do a little cedar sapling there. And then I do want there to be a tree here-ish, similar to where that other one was at, but maybe with more room around it this time. So we'll do a sapling there. I do actually like the idea of putting another one here. So maybe I'll do a cedar tree. And then down here, I feel like this little corner is also begging for a tree. So we're gonna do one of those. And I love the saplings, they're my favorite, so I'll probably be using those more than the other kinds. And then there isn't really enough space here, so I guess we'll just hop up here and plant the last couple on top of the cliff. It is a little bit like delayed gratification to have to wait for the trees to grow in, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I think it'll be worth it to be able to go through and actually decide how tall we want them to be. I feel like having the stunted trees actually adds so much visual interest into the build, so I am enjoying that. I'm just gonna go ahead and plant this up here because, yeah, I just don't want it in my pockets. Okay, so I might as well open these things up. We could also make one of these into a little gyroid farm. That would be kind of cute. Okay, so I actually have a few ideas already for how to decorate this space. I was thinking about doing a park bench because I grabbed one of those. Maybe we put it up here somewhere. Let's see where it went. Also, we did get that car and I think that this would be a really cute area for it. Maybe I'll turn it around. I do like that it's green. Hey, that may be kind of cute, just like tucked behind the tree like that. We'll see. Mute, 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 mute. And then the car might look sort of cute right here. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's not really that big. I do really like that actually. So we're just gonna push it closer to the tree. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's not too bad. Um, okay, what else do we have? We have the utility sink and the street lamp. So maybe I'll put the street lamp here. And then I can do like the utility sink in front of it because I feel like the sink is actually pretty fun. And then I'm right at the point now where I'm feeling like I need to go back to my house and see what items we have in the inventory. Because I feel like this area is begging for a barrel for sure. Okay, so we are back. I have a couple of ideas of how to decorate some things. I think we're going to go ahead and push this guy like over into this space over here and then I'm gonna put a barrel here. I have like a weird thing about height and I feel like sometimes adding height 
differences like helps a little bit to make the build look more cohesive so we're gonna play around with that a little bit I'm gonna try to like place some of the bigger items I think and then fill it in with the smaller things around I also picked up some flowers that I thought would be kind of fun to make them look like we are growing crops even though they're just different flowers nothing too crazy here I am going to just like vary the way that they're planted, I think, just a little bit. Ooh, what's going on down there? Somebody's doing some thinking. Are you thinking about moving off the island? Are we? Let's see, let's see. <gasps> Cat, you were one of my first people here. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm right in the middle of decorating Cat, but I am very glad that you're happy on this island and that you don't want to move away. Um, I did also grab some fencing um that i crafted yesterday and i was thinking about putting it like in the back area here like not along the whole thing but just like a little bit you know because i feel like that i don't know it, it does something for me it adds something into the build and it also takes up a tile of space which is kind of nice so what could we put here the stone stool maybe and then I will put like a sapling on it or something. Oh, I definitely didn't mean to do that. Okay, never mind. I guess I just have a tree in my pockets now. So then I was thinking to run through these and make them look like strawberries. Maybe. Okay, so we have our little strawberry set up, and then I think I'll end up filling in the rest of the space with weeds. That actually looks kind of cute. Like, am I crazy? I think for now, I'll probably just pick my other crops over here and just like double them. But I was thinking about going to Harv's Island today, so we'll see. I do have some other pumpkins over here. It's quickly turning into like one big farm island. That's okay though. We're just gonna pick these guys and replant them yay all right i think we've mostly got it like it looks pretty barren because the trees haven't grown in yet but it is looking very farmy and it did kind of like add some cohesiveness in with nook's cranny and the farm that we built yesterday so i'm kind of pleased with it actually i feel like once the trees go grow in we'll have a better idea of like how these items will look like especially these ones that i put on the side i'm not sure if they're actually going to look good once we have trees grown um but yeah i feel like overall i do like the way that it looks not 100 percent sure about putting the park bench there but i really feel like the car adds something to it and yeah i think we did a pretty good job making you know, crops out of nothing. I ended up just planting like a bunch of the same types of things, but we're actually pretty close to having enough money to be able to go to Harv's Island and get leaf, which would be really, really helpful for tomorrow. So I think what I'm gonna do next is probably farm most of my pears that have grown in throughout the island, and then we can sell those. And I bet if I do that and then sell like any wasps and stuff that I find, like I bet that will get us to 100,000. It will mean that we are again, just like chronically broke in this game. Um, but you know what? That is just, that is just how it goes right now. I think now that we've paid my house off three times, I think I'm probably going to slow down a little bit on making house payments and start to just like build up some, dare I say, equity in the game. Um, <laughs> so silly, but yeah, I think that's my plan. I want to be able to have more money so that if we get other like big fun items like the car, I have enough to do that. That is the second time I have gotten a garbage bin. By shaking the trees like can i please have some variation in the items that you're giving me another green garbage bin what are you trying to say animal crossing what is this and then we have vic over here honestly i really like him 
I feel like I say that every time. I'm very surprised by the fact that I like him. I think that's why I always say it. But I think he's very cute. Like his medieval vibe just doesn't really suit the island, but I honestly don't really mind it. Especially the outside of his house. I think it's actually very cute. I think what we need to do tomorrow is move a villager house and actually decorate one of the villager homes. I feel like we um, have so many houses in the island and they're very difficult for me to decorate usually. So I end up kind of leaving them and then not having enough space to like do what I wanna do on the island. So I think that that could be kind of fun. I'm a little bit nervous about how the symmetrical vibe of this island is gonna like come together because we're using such a structured path. It's not really what I'm used to, but at the same time, it is like a new and different and fun little challenge. And of course my shovel would die. So I'm gonna go back to my house, make a new shovel and finish doing my dailies. And then I guess I'll see you guys again over at Harv's Island. All right, here we are. Harriet is finally doing hair today, which I'm so excited about. We have visited several times on days that she's, oh, why? What is going on here? Why are you no longer doing hair, Harriet? I don't understand. Every time I come here, she's not set up. That's literally never happened to me before. Like ever, ever, ever. Can somebody please tell me what I'm doing wrong? <laughs> It's literally killing me. I'm pretty sure that this is leaf though. Having a great morning, pal. We are accepting donations for a botany expert with the greenest of thumbs. That is our friend leaf. So we are definitely going to be donating. I forgot that the villagers actually do help out a little bit. So that's kind of exciting. So it's not quite a hundred thousand, but you know, we are definitely still footing over the majority of the bill here. I seriously do need to figure out what is going on with Harriet though. Like what do I need to do to get a new hairstyle? <laughs> I don't understand at all. I don't understand at all. Somebody help me please. Hey, at least we'll be able to visit Leaf tomorrow and get some new crops to expand our little farm. I'm actually really excited for that. All right, my friends, that is going to wrap up day 26 on EB Isle. I had so much fun today. I feel like we accomplished so much and I'm gonna finish off my day by hanging out by the heart-shaped pond with Stu. He's got his to-go coffee and I cannot even resist having a seat next to him and enjoying the gorgeous island. I just feel like he is literally the cutest ever. Can, you, can we talk about him? Can we talk about him? Oh my goodness. He is seriously one of my favorite villagers, like the cutest little baby to ever do it. Um, anyway, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow on day 27. Bye!